Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card we're making today. It's this very simple birthday card, so let's get started. So the supplies you're going to need is your card base. It's a standard card base. So this is Thick Whisper White, so this is a standard A6. So that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. Then I'm using the Silhouette paper. Let me just see what the proper name is called. It's called Sea Silhouette. And this piece measures 10 centimeters by 14.35 centimeters and then I've got some scraps of Whisper White and Blackberry Bliss so let's get started first things first we're going to attach this to a piece with some snail so let me get my snail out okay so let's put this down here however I want it, whichever way around I might want it. So this is really nice paper and I've not yet used this in the main catalogue I actually haven't used it yet so I decided to rectify that situation this time. Um, now also in the main catalogue in the same paper there was one sheet that has lots of flowers um, on it and all I've done is fussy cut out a bunch of these and I cut out a ton of these while watching TV so I didn't want to cut out any more and waste what I already had so all we're going to do is arrange these flowers here on the edge of our um, what you call this a piece of paper so we can just decide how we want these to go so we can take a little bit of time arranging them however we think we want them that will kind of maybe go there I think so all I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit of adhesive in the middle of my piece so that I still got a lot of it available to lift and tuck as I so wish so let's see where do we want this maybe yeah that looks okay so again just a little bit after you decided on where everything goes you can then come again if you want and add some more so I'm just taking my time faffing about um, where should we have this then maybe underneath here somewhere coming like that and this is why you don't want to have too much adhesive on the back so that you can lift and tuck as you want the snail also helps with that because it, gives you, it is a bit easier to lift up so let's have this maybe here Let's see actually. No, I want that there. I want that one there. Maybe this one can come in and don't worry about the the bits that are hanging off. We can um, fix that. We're gonna cut the excess off in a minute. Okay. And then let's see, do we want another one? Maybe one more tucked in like that? Or do we want to have another red? I like the red again. I like bright colours as you know. So let's have that there and maybe. Whoopsie daisy. That one's come up. Let's put it back again where we want it. And then maybe you can just pull off bits you don't want as well. No, I think that's enough. No, I think that's plenty enough. Okay, so now we are just gonna cut around the excess here so what I'm going to do is just take my scissors and cut off 
literally cut off any bit that overhangs. So there we have, and I need to cut off this bit as well, it's staring me in the face. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now if you want you can cut it up to this designer series paper and then it will be best to actually do it before you stick the paper down but I haven't so I'm actually thinking I want to do it. So what I'm going to do, just shows you we all make mistakes, is just pull up my paper. Don't worry about the mess like this, you're going to stick it back down and no one will know the difference. So I'm going to cut off the excess to the paper. Okay. Trying to make it easier for me to cut. I'm not succeeding very well. The reason I'm leaving this in as well is that you can see we all make mistakes and this is not the end of the world. I get this so much from cl a class like, oh, I've done this wrong, didn't do it the way you did it. Or, um, I'm just going to pull this whole thing up actually now so that I can stick it back down properly. Just be careful when you're pulling it up because you don't want to ruin your paper, obviously. But if you're careful, you won't ruin it. And yes, it looks like a hot mess on the back, but no one's going to see the back. That's going to be totally covered, so, you know, you don't need to worry. And, you know, we all make mistakes. Mistakes are part of living. If we didn't make mistakes, you wouldn't be human. We'd be robots or we'd be gods, and we're not, you know. So embrace the errors, learn from them, and don't get yourself hung up about it. It is really not the end of the world. Okay. There we go. You see, and you don't even know that I pulled the whole thing up. See? No problem. Okay, so let's set that aside now, and we're going to do some stamping. So let me show you the stamps that we're going to use. It's this one called Perennial Birthday, and we're using this one called Happy Birthday. And this is quite an old set, so I still have it in the wood mount, but you can buy it now just in the cling. Okay, and I've got my piece here of Whisper White and we're just going to stamp somewhere in the centre hopefully and down uh, and up perfect and what I'm going to do now is use my trimmer a lovely new paper trimmer just to trim that sentiment to the around it. Otherwise, if I just cut it to what I wanted, it'd be such a small piece and you'd be struggling so hard to get it really where you want it. This just means I find it's sometimes easier just to um, cut something. Stamp it first and then cut it later. Let's see, where do we want to go? Okay, and roughly about the same there. I think we can take a little bit more off the edge here. Okay, so well, there you can see I've cut out sentiment okay and now I'm going to find a piece of whisper white a piece of um, that doesn't fit it blackberry bliss and all I'm going to do is find my snail wherever it's hiding here it is and I'm just going to stick it down in the corner here so it has a little border all the way around it and then I'm just going to cut that off as well. So this is the beauty of the trimmer. You can cut some really fine pieces 
as you can see here, you can get nicely round it all. So, I want to go I'm trying to make up my mind where I want to cut. Yep, that'll do fine. So, put the trimmer away. Get rid of these bits. Okay, there's our sentiment. Here's our card. We're going to pop this up using dimensionals. So let me get those. Here's a dimensional. So that's sticking to me. Ugh. It's because I'm rushing because this is a Monday afternoon when I'm filming. And Monday afternoon is the days I take my mother to AGK. So I've taken her to AGK and left her there. But I have to go back and collect her. And I think I need to leave like in 20 minutes. So I'm trying to get this done before. <laughs> I have to leave <laughs> because the house is totally empty at the moment so it's perfect for filming so I'm trying to rush to get this done so let me show you finishing touches I used some of these these are gold faceted gems and I just put a few um, this is the large one in the centers of the card here I didn't use a lot um, let's do another one here whoopsie daisy one over there and then one there and I think a small one there there we go so there you are those are the two cards Thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube know and don't forget to subscribe to future projects if you want any information supply list on this um, project it'll be on the blog post on my website the links to that and all my social media links including my new facebook group are in the description box below so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye